Hi Gemini, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Gemini, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Gemini. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands, and this is fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. So we're seeing someone who is in their masculine. This is someone who knows what they want. So we have a very charming energy here, attractive. Um, this is someone who's a go-getter, so they're pursuing what they want, and they have this big picture mindset here. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Tower, Mars energy. The Eight of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Emperor, Aries Energy. Okay, so someone is definitely wanting to come towards you and communicate with you. It looks like you're both in your masculine. We have both the Emperor and the King of Wands. So they, it's like you guys are having some sort of solution-oriented communication with this Eight of Wands. It's like moving forward. It, there could have been some sort of tower moment that already occurred here. And there's this um, energy of wanting to resolve things and move forward in a productive way. Um, with the Emperor being here, it does look like you're still in this situation. There's this feeling of wanting to have stability with someone. And the Emperor is someone who doesn't give up easily on something that they care about. So there's this energy of, you know, really being committed to something, seeing something through. And it does look like whoever you're dealing with is matching your energy. It looks like you guys are both agreeing to move forward together. There's this, this uh, reciprocal energy here. Okay, so let's clarify these cards. So we have the three of wands and this is fire energy sagittarius aries your energy so we're seeing rapid growth and expansion this situation it does look like there's something about the situation that's shifting in a positive way we're seeing progress happening here um, there could be distance involved um, or there's something you've been waiting on in this situation and you're as you're seeing results there's some sort of forward movement happening here okay so let's see <clears throat> Okay, we have the Seven of Cups, Water Energy, the Ten of Pentacles, Earth Energy, and the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy. So there is definitely this energy of being motivated to continue this connection. Um, there could have been a period of confusion, a lack of clarity with that Seven of Cups, but with this Ten of Pentacles, it, it looks like there's something about this connection that's not going anywhere. There's this solid energy here. And with the Knight of Wands, it's like, um, there's this motivation to keep giving to the situation. There's this motivation to um, pursue something here with you. Uh, the person you're dealing with feels quite confident about this connection recovering from whatever that tower moment was. So there's definitely an energy of whoever you're with, yeah, they're persevering, they're going to be persistent with this. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Gemini. have bring love into the situation new moon in aquarius so there could still be that strong desire to work on this because there's love here okay so i'm gonna plot another card for you okay 
we have pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you so there is a message here to pay attention to something because with the tower being there there is something about this connection even though there is love here and there's this um, strong bond that's difficult to kind of walk away from there are still cracks in the foundation because the tower only affects situations that are not really built on a solid foundation so there's something here about needing to pay attention to the details before um you know reviving a connection with someone okay so i'm gonna put another card for you gemini We have playfulness. To re play is the royal road to childhood happiness and adult brilliance. Okay, so there could be something about the inner child here. This connection is um, bringing certain character traits out here with this energy, or it's very healing for the inner child, or this attraction is due to something about your inner child here. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Gemini. Okay, so we have surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Gemini. I hope you have a really, really good day, Gemini. Bye, Gemini.